Hi guys and welcome to this video on Dragon Rampant. Dragon Rampant is a simple game uh, published by Osprey and allows you to fight two fantasy armies um, against each other. Um, the rules are pretty straightforward, very easy to pick up. It's excellent for, for all ages from young to old, veteran war gamers to uh, you know novices. Um, so yeah, it's a great game. We've recently ran a tournament at our club. Uh, the pictures of the buildings that you're seeing are pictures of um, forged terrain buildings which were won by some of the members. Um, I'll be doing a separate video um, which I'll link in the description of this, uh, a review on those buildings, they're absolutely excellent. Um, but yeah, so Steve and Nigel are going to be doing a small demonstration game on the table you can see now. Um, it's just a simple game, 24 points aside, just to show you basically how the game works. Um, and like I say, if you like the game, pick up a set of it and uh, sort of crack on with it really. We're going to be doing a, a Dragon Rampant game at least once a month. There's going to be a series of them on the channel now. Uh, so subscribe and like uh, if you want to see more of these games. The games will get bigger. So this is just a small demonstration game to sort of whet your appetite. I hope you enjoy it. Right, Dragon Rampant game with me and Nigel. 24 points. And at the moment we're just going to roll for our leader traits. So I'll roll mine first. Oh, not good. Seven? Seven. That will be interesting. Brutal. Any units within 12 inches of your leader model may automatically pass failed rally tests by removing one strength point. Don't like that one. No. <laughs> That's what I got on the previous game. There goes mine. Uh, nine. Brave. Leader's unit is not affected by fear. That's alright then. Hang on, we don't have fear in this game. Uh, no, I'm not causing fear. No, so I'll re-roll. You can re-roll, yeah. Uh, Ten. Ten. Strong. During attacks, whether attacking or defending, leader's unit may re-roll one failed hit dice. That's better. Right, I've got orcs. I've got my leader that's got venomous and he's heavy foot. I've got a unit of heavy foot reduced down to three models that's got offensive means that I'm hitting on fours rather than fives. I've got my Wizard's Link, that's a reduced model unit, again on heavy foot with offensive. And I've also got heavy missile with weighty projector that gives them a range of 12 only. So that's my army fighting for today. Not a lot of it. No, hopefully a big hard hitting unit. Right, so elite foot unit, including my leader, no frills. That's men versus orcs. Yep, yep. Twenty four points. Nigel's fantastic fantasy human army. Knights of the Round Table. So this is a unit of heavy foot with a wizardling. Okay. And the wizard's called Bernard. <laughs> Bernard the Bold. Bernard the Wizard. Bernard the Bold, okay. I'll flash his name up then. Hey, only because Bernard grew a beard, a little bit of a goatee once. <laughs> And uh, obviously it's a pass when I painted that up for you. <laughs> right, that is another unit of heavy foot. Yeah. No extras. I like to see you use the figures as well. I did that with the orcs I used. You know, 12 for 12 rather than the cut down ones. Better, I think. It's easier to keep track of as well, isn't it? Yeah. But in this game, you can have a cut down unit, can't you? So, yes, yeah, so like, you've got like a me, cut yeah. down unit there. Yeah, that's a cut down unit. That yeah. would normally be 12 models. I've taken it down to three or four wounds each. Yeah. That's obviously my leader at yeah. 12 wounds. Yeah. Again, could be 12 units. Yeah. And that's another single model unit for a wizard link. So, all of those are actually 36 models, effectively. Pretty I'm much, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, and the same archer unit, again, is cut down to yeah. half, half unit. Yeah. 
purely for the fact that I haven't got enough painted. Yeah, that's right. So this is the sort <laughs> of pain. being an orc, I'll be my head, they're twice as strong, so why have 12 men? Yeah. You can have three or possibly six. Because it right. looks good. And it my last is. two units yep. are two units of heavy missiles. And that's the crossbowman, yeah? Yep. Okay. Let's take a picture of your army lined up. You're all for leaders. So you now you do your deployment, don't you? Yeah. What are we doing? What? Deploy one unit at a time, yeah? Uh, yeah. I've got six. One. You've got one. We've also got, are we using home rules? Yeah. Activate each ship. So the home yeah. rules we've got are yeah. activation in the rule book is per army. Yeah. And me and Nigel obviously like to play activation per unit. Yeah. So the game runs a bit smoother. Uh, we do normally have a lot bigger games, don't we? Yeah, but for just a day we've scaled it down to what the yeah. book suggests. Uh, other home rule. Uh, that's it for a day, isn't it? So in a normal game, you'd roll for this unit to be activated. If it failed, that's, it then go to the other yes. person. Yeah. In this game, if that fails, you can then roll for the next unit yeah. and so on. And so on. Yeah. Okay. Until you've done your whole yeah. army. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a home rule. That's fair enough. Right, my first unit is deployed. The agony right. of choice. You're deploying up to one full move in, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that's that like unit deployed. My second unit. Heavy foot are on a roll of five plus, so I'm going to take the furthest one away from me at the moment. That is these guys here. Yeah. So on a five plus, they're moving. As they do. I'm going to move them to full movement. So that's a five plus on two by six, right? Yes, yep. Uh, and their full movement is a six, so that's their maximum. And they're going to move at a full six. Obviously, my war boss is essentially exactly the same unit, yep. just with Venomous. So, again, a five plus. He does on eight. And he's going to move this full movement of six. The same with my wizard, and he does. And my archers, I believe, are a little bit different. For them to move, it's a six plus on two d6. And they don't do it, so they foul, they stay where they are. It would normally be Nigel's go if that was my first roll. Yeah, but as we played with the home rules, yep. yeah. it's Nigel's go anyway. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna move my elite foot on a five plus. And I do. The thing is I like about this game as well, mm. is I think I've said to you before too, when you bring a dragon in, yeah. or a giant, people look at you and go, oh my god, yeah, that's a big unit, and they stay away from it, but yeah. Yeah, technically it's no different. Exactly, yeah, that's, that's interesting you say that, yeah. I noticed that with the orc army I used, because they all looked small and stuff, yeah. like they didn't realise they were fighting stuff that was the same as theirs. Yeah. Right, so move this unit at heavy foot, that moves on five plus. And the two trolls I used, there's... Um, minor beasts aren't really very good at all but they just look so good yeah <laughs>
Now, what do you do, sir? Is that 18 inches? Is it no pre measuring? We, me, me and Nigel play, but we don't do it. Right, okay. You we can do, I think you 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 have to when it comes to things like um, wild charges. Yeah. Yeah, in, yeah. in the rule book, it does say uh, pre measurement is. Okay. You, you, you can be allowed. So there's another but, home rule you've got you don't do well, it? Well, we never have a rule. We always, if you declare when you're out of range, then that's yeah, that. Range, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, It just makes it a little bit more challenging to think about things rather than just, oh, oh, you're yeah. in range, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. see, if I pre-measure pre that and it's not in range, yeah. then I'd say, well, I'm going to move instead. Right. And it just... Okay, yeah. It's just one of them things that we've always... Yeah. Adds a bit, little bit more of a... You know, yeah, a bit more flavour to it. Yeah, you've got to think about it because if you do, you've technically you've wasted your, your, your movement. Yeah, because yeah. it's class as a go. And you took a chance of if you're playing it the other way, where each unit yeah. fails and the other side moves, it's a big risk there. Yeah. So if Nigel goes to attack me, he's out of range. Obviously, he gets the idea because he measures it next range, so he does know. But at the same I time, going to which one were you thinking was in range anyway? My wizardly, no, his wizardly, his wizardly. That's about 21 inches, that much. I've got a digital, built in digital <laughs> measure up my eyes. It's got a terminator right. Yes. Again, it's such an easy rule set, it's such an easy game yeah. to play, but at the same time. It's tactical. Yeah. 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 I'll pass on that one. They say stay stagnant, are they? Yep. So you'll go. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to measure it now for the, for no. the viewers to see what it was? No, no. We'll, uh, we'll do that when we come to it. All right, give me a tape measure then, look away. I'm going to measure it for the people watching because they're going to want to know now whether you're in range or not. <laughs> My archers, they do move. Uh, just one thing, we obviously didn't mention. Take it that's heavy, yeah. Uh, woods, 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 woods. This is just light terrain, yeah. Cover, right, yeah. Okay. So they are moving to there. So you've got no boundaries as such, but you just take it as a as plane and ship, and that's a wood. Yeah. yeah. So generally, round the edge of the okay bases yeah. and the trees. Uh, and I think there's a rule in the book that it's isn't it three inches inside the wood you can't be seen. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously I wouldn't be able to fire into Nigel. No. Nigel wouldn't be able to fire out at me. Uh, right. I'm going to move my wizardling. He does. Going to move my war boss. He does move. Gonna move him there. I'm sure three inches away. I am. And move my last heavy foot. They do move. You're going, Nigel. Alright, yeah, okay. Right, this is going to move. Boom. It does get it. Yeah, bowmen are good, providing you can get them to move. Okay. 
Now last of these, these guys, these are going to move. Yeah. They do. They do. Uh, do you want to know what the range was now? No. No. No one you measured before? No. Nope. Moved now, but no. No, because in the proof. Oh, that's right, true. Yeah. I've moved forward so we'd get to know. Afterwards, yeah. once we've measured, yeah. then let us know. All right. I reckon it was out of range. Is on a 7 plus enemy unit within 18, one immediate shot action, a magic attack or flame electrical attack, or for basically him it would be a cloud of green mist that yeah. comes into my mind. Okay, uh, so on a 7 plus with 2d6, I activate it, see if I can. Yes, just, just. so now let's see if I've wasted it or not. Yeah, that's well in range. I'm in range now. Of 15, but it's so over. It's over 12. Over inches. 12. So I mean, I'd be hitting on fives. What was the range, Jim? 21 inches. 21. He's got that Terminator right. <laughs> Except you're over in points on the Right. I'm rolling my 12 dice on a five plus. We have one, two hits, and I believe Nigel's armour is three. Yeah, armour for heavy foot is free. So unfortunately I don't do any damage at all. You just cover them with green mist? Just cover them with a green mist until it's Nigel's down. I can see you with him. Mm -hmm. You would obviously get cover. cover. So before I measure, I'm going to do a shoot. That's a seven. I believe that again. That's good. Yeah. And heavy is good. Just double check. Heavy missile shoot is seven plus, so I get that off. Measuring again. In the back of the book. Yeah. I'm just I'm over twelve. I'm just over twelve, so I'm hitting on fours. All but because I'm, I'm over twelve. Because I'm cycling now. Yeah. Want to cut the amount of weight. With me and my so normally I'll be hitting on fours, but because I'm over 12, I'll be hitting on five. Fives. Unfortunately, because I've got weighty protector, I've just remembered 12 inch you're range. out of range. 12 inch range. 12 inch range. Oh. So you still fire them and they all land short? Uh, basically, yeah. yes. Yeah. And of course, I've now got an idea of the range, and so has Nigel. Yeah. 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 You are out of range by about mils. Yeah. So I'm going to be moving my unit up here that's the heavy foot. And they do move. The size of that fly or that thing is covered. Don't look harsh, though, it could possibly crumble up, it's full of rust. And my last unit to move is my war boss, and he does move. And he's just down. That's my go over. Getting pretty close over here. Yep. All right, let's start thinking about this now. Right, so first things first, we're going to move this unit of heavy in, uh, archers. And I've let them down again. They're a bit nervous of the green mist, I think. Yeah. Mm. This is one reason why we play that rule of carry on of activation of each yeah, unit because yeah. twice now Nigel's failed first turn. And in a, in a small game it, it's, it's moves, useful but in a big game it's probably even better isn't it? Yeah. I do on six. Yeah, yeah. on a big game especially when me and Nigel do like a 68 point game or something. Yeah. If we've tried it once before and you foul it's like. Yeah I, I played the game against Bernard um, originally when I started to learn how to play it and we played it with the rule that you swap over sides when you fail. Yeah. And I failed like four or five times on the trot, and it was a really frustrating game. Yeah. I didn't find it fun. It kills all morale, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. but this, <laughs> That's a real but this I found fun yeah. when you don't have that rule, so that is something that people think about, I suppose. Right, we're going to try and do a power bolt with your wizard. Okay. On a 7 plus. Oh, oh 
six, on a six. All that procrastinating. Yep. Right. So those three have Cause done. Because he, he's not got 100% line of sight. Yep. I've managed to just disappear. <laughs> Movement. Oh. No. No. Oh, oh, some unlucky dice rolls. Some very unlucky dice rolls. Um, that's kind of scuppered me because I needed them to head that way. Yeah. And give me the room I needed to go that way. Yeah. That's it. So this is the three-inch roll thing, isn't it? So. Yeah. Because yep. they're there, you you can't fit through here. Is what you're saying? No. Okay. I I can, providing I stay three inches away. Yeah. yeah and, they and, and they stay three inches away at the end of their movement, and they're in a cohesion of three yeah. inches, isn't it? Yeah. So they have they can't be in a long line like that. No, like a single file. Like yeah. a <laughs> conga line. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. They've got to stay in at least a three inches cohesion yeah. group. Which is kind of really I don't know. Can I? Can I? Get through there. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that, so I'll pass on that. Okay. That's your guy over here. They moved, they failed, they failed. They failed, I can't move that one in. Yeah. Right, I'm going to move my wizard. No, he doesn't. No, double one. I'm going to shoot. You have heavy missiles, don't you? I do. Uh, with, without weight you project up? No, so I'll never take. Right, okay. So you took the weight project up save on points? Yes, just so right. then I could have uh, okay. one unit with yeah. offensive, yeah. one okay. unit, one with my boss with venomous and yeah. he's got offensive. So you're to lose, right? Yeah, so he's slightly tougher. Uh, obviously giving these the, the negative of the yeah. extra range. I'm going to move my archers. I do get it off. I'm going to move them back a tad. Right. I'm going to move my war boss. Six. You don't have to move in full distance. No, right? I don't have to. So I've just moved him half of three. Okay. I'm going to move my larger orcs, and they fell. Oh. As Nigel's go. This didn't what I want to happen. No. That's didn't what I want to happen. It's English for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's panic speak, that is. Oh, go blimey, governor speak. Yeah. Right, I think I'm going to try and loose off power bolt. Okay. Or I do fuddle do. That would stop you for a turn. And you don't get to weld your oyster, Nigel. Hmm. These are going to move, these <laughs> heavy bowmen. They do. do. These heavy bars are going to move. Yeah. Oh, no, they don't. They're not happy, are they? They're not happy. They no. can't see nothing. That's why. No. But they know there's big things in it. <laughs> yeah, they can yeah. hear big things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big things scratching about. I'm a cautious player, Nigel. There you, you can see your wall game in the background. Right, I'm going to try and befuddle you. Okay, it's seven plus, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No. Um, I rolled for them, didn't I? Yes. Alrighty, 
have hands right now on it. Movement. Well, there's a cab return on it. Saying that that was a roll. Can they be seen over there? Uh, yeah, no, that can be seen yeah. anywhere, yeah. Okay. Anywhere in there, actually, that whole thing's covered. So. Enough. I'm going to attack five plus. Yeah, oh, we've got okay, yeah. They're in. Yeah, yeah. George. First bit of combat. Versus heavy foot. Oh, okay. I have venomous, but on attacking, it only works. So on defending, it doesn't. So no, you're 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 heavy foot. I'm heavy foot. But you get a better defense. defense uh, and you'll do attacking. Don't you? You've got this good. Normal, yes. Because yeah. yes, for him, yeah. Yeah, 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 he's, he's four, a, as well. yeah. He defends on fours. Yeah. Right. My attack value is freeze. Yeah. So I'm gonna need freeze. And you've got and, and I've got fours. and I've got the strong uh, ability, which means I re-roll one foul. Yes. yes. And because I'm heavy foot, you're Grouping them in freeze as well because that's my armor rating. Right, so that's a mess. That's a mess. That's a mess. Freeze I needed, oh, yeah. wasn't it? Right, and re-roll this for my strong ability. So right. we have three hits. Yep. So we have three hits on my war boss. So just moved them over there. I'm now defending. I'm defending on fours, and Nigel's armour is four, so I need four fours. We have one, two, three, and that's it. So I foul, I take three wounds. Uh, do we have a spare dice? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Just to confirm, Nigel hit me three times, yep. hit me three wounds. Yeah. I attacked him back and fouled on all hits. Okay. So, so this has 12 models and this is 12 models. Uh, six models. 12. Oh, because he's elite, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. That's right, so I take three wounds. Yeah. I lose combat. Yeah. So I go back three inches. Yeah. And I also have to take a panic test. Or I can remove. One extra. Oh yes. Oh, is this the brutal thing? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to gamble and take the panic, panic test. Yeah. So it's minus three. A six, a seven, eight. I'm perfectly fine. Right. Okay, mate. And that's your go over, yes? Uh, no. Yes, I said. Right. I'll close the door. Oh, okay. I'm going to attack you with my war boss because we know we're in range on a six plus. Yes, we get it on a seven. So he's moving back in. Now you've got your attack bonuses. So now this is where I've got the venomous. All sixes count as double hits, not yep. double wounds, like yep. it says in the rule book. Yep. That was updated on the 
proper website, wasn't it? So I'm hitting on fours, your arm is four, all sixes count as double hits. We have no sixes. Fours or fives? Hitting on uh, oh yeah, hitting on fives, yeah. sorry. So that's one. Uh, and no sixes. No so. sixes. Oh. Right, so oh. again, I get to re-roll one of these. Uh, attacking attacking or defending. But you are defending on now. Fours. Fours, it's four fours. Ooh. I could have done with that. Yeah. Four sixes. Yeah, that would have been eight hit. So, and this is the re-roll for strong. That's a miss. So we've got one, two hits. More than that, three hits. Your, your heavy foot. Uh, yes, I was three. So, so I'm now on to six. Half strength. So I'm now down to half strength for next go. I go back another three inches. Minus six. It's not looking good. So do you just lose a model? I can choose to lose one wound, taking me down to onto seven, and not run, or I can roll. Minus six. I think we better off taking that. My courage is four. Be brutal. So I if he takes that wound. So you're on a minus two, whatever you roll. So basically, you've only got to roll. You've only got to roll for three. You'll be alright. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah I know you're going to be bad at D. No, I'd need to. If I minus. Three. Yeah. If I roll three minus six, I'd be gone. It's so minus negative three. Oh, of course. So, so, roll, so roll a negative number. I need to roll six, seven, eight, nine. I need to roll ten plus okay. with two dice. So I'll take it you're dispatching one of your fellow then. Uh, it's looking that way, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we've got another not. dice, Nigel. And then you're not bad either, because even if you if, yeah. even if you should survive, but you were battered, then you'd be really vulnerable, wouldn't you? So I've just taken an extra wound to stay where I am. Yeah. Uh, Kill the weaklings. Next. My next unit is going to be them. You're going to sort my heavy foot. Yeah. Attacking them. So again, they get it off. We are in range. They have offensive, so I'm hitting on fours rather than fives. Uh -huh. Twelve dice, hitting on fours, armour's four. Oh look, six. One, two, three, four. I've got some really bad dice roll with that. Yeah, it's awful. And, and I'm on defending on fours. fours. My armour is three. Oh, your armour is three as well, so yeah. Keep hitting it. So... Uh, your armour is free. Yep. I've hit you twice. So I lose combat. So I go back. Three inches. How many did I lose? One. You lost one. Yeah, you lost one. You lost uh, I borrow another one of your dice, Nigel. We both take the courage test. Thank you. So I'm fine. Six, seven, eight. Three. Two. Oh, your courage is four. You're back and battered. So, so even, even though you won, you weren't happy with that. Yep. Yeah. Even though they won, three massive great orcs yeah. in front of them have caused them to run a little bit. Yeah. And they're scared. Yeah. So Nigel's next round, he has to take a courage test to rally them. If they do rally. So in reality, Nigel didn't kill any of yours. Yours their own weapons and that big thing killed two of his own mates. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, killed, scared them killed so much. Killed one of them and they ran away. Yeah. I did lose two wounds. Yeah, so you swung that, killed two of your own men, and then he ran yes. away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, and I'm battered. So Nigel's next go, he has to roll his courage test. If he fails, yeah. he goes back again and removes the model. Yeah. But the chances are he's passed, but then yeah. that's it, they can't do nothing. No, so that's giving you a bit of an advantage there now. Yes. Right, I'm going to move my wizard. Oh, he doesn't move. It's a five, isn't it, for heavy foot? Yep. And I'm going to move my archers. They do move. I spend a lot of our time to try snip across the ball. Yeah. They were like cardio kick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yep, that's it. 
Alrighty, um, so you have to do your test for the batter ones? That's the first thing you've got to do, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's the first thing I need to do, so here goes. Yeah, they're six. fine. They're good, so they're unbattered, but they can't do it. So we rolled a six Great. minus one, you got yeah. the five. Right, courage is full. So you just made it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you know what's going to happen now, don't you? Yep. My elite are going to attack your all boss. Yep. Five. Didn't strain themselves, but they do it. Yeah, four elite attacking, it's a five. So again, he only just did it. Twelve. Right, hitting, hitting you on threes. Okay. One of these I can re-roll. Oh, well, whoopee-doo, every single one of them hit you. <laughs> <laughs> so my arm is free. Uh, so well, that'd be four hits, two, wouldn't it? Two, three, four. That's not looking good for me. No. Yeah. I've got that brutal thing. That's actually a powerful thing to have there. So, I have one wound. How oh, you can't use the brutal thing because you kill yourself. Yeah, if I do that, <laughs> I would kill myself. Yeah. So you need to roll 12 here, don't you, really? So, I'm rolling my measly three double dice back. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Depending on fours, your armour is four. Oh, look, we get a six. But unfortunately, I don't get a hit back. Enough. Wow. So I go back free. You can't kill yourself, so. And he removes himself. Oh, yeah. Like, if you roll 12, you'd be alright, wouldn't he? Chances rolling the 12. Try it. Let's just do it. He's run away. Oh, okay. <laughs> or just kill himself. Right. Kill the weakest one. <laughs> Courage test for them, minus one. Oh, yeah, you lost your leader. Minus one, four, they're fine. Courage test for him, minus one. It's fine. Courage test for them, minus one. Uh, heavy missiles. I think they're courage. Courage, four. Minus one. Back and battered. Back. And battered. Run away, run away. So because your leader died, everybody has to take a morale test with a minus one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. In my head, he didn't die, he just ran away. Yeah. And they yeah. just caught it. Yeah. <laughs> and then no, come on, let's they, they, They've just caught him running away and they've let's caught Let's say oh. like it is, you fell on your own soul, didn't you? <laughs> Human meat. Yeah. Uh, That's it, isn't it? Mm. Yes, it's, your, it's still your go, Nigel. Oh, yeah, because I attacked you, now. didn't I? Yeah. Um, right. Let's close it this now. So. Uh, I've got to push up on those guys, really, haven't I? I can't so, terrible games. heavy infantry, I'm moving. Oh, are they within range? You should be within range, because I've only moved back three. three. And I went back three, didn't I? So uh, yeah, so, so yes, yeah, technically, let's just make sure it is. Yeah, you're in range. Okay, so, attack. Oh! No. They rallied, but they're not happy. Oh, you couldn't no. anyway, you ran it from this guy, didn't you? No, that was last guy. No, that was this guy. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Right, so they've both been. Um, right, these guys are going to move. Oh, sorry. The double ones, they didn't. Um, these guys are going to move. They do. Chasing your stupid ass all around the board again. <laughs> there was a plan to my method, I was trying to get my wizard. Yeah. yeah. So I could heal thee. I was gonna hopefully try and bring him back, get him to heal thee. Yeah. And of course bring Nigel around fire. I think where it went wrong for you was when you had that attack and you rolled no sixes at all. Yeah. If yeah, you rolled was. four sixes, that would have been eight hits. That would have been two of his models down, you know, one that went around. Yeah. Could have been the other way around. Yeah, venomous can be really good. Yeah. Or Especially if you go venomous and uh, on a leap. Yeah. Venomous on a leap, hit with freeze. Yeah. Uh, right, these guys. It does cost nine points, it's an expensive unit. Mm. I'm going to befuddle you. Okay. Yeah. No. No. All the ones. There are wizardlings and there's wizardlings at the wrong center. 
And it's safe. Oh, my spot, I think I've spawned once since we've been filming this. No, it's good. It's good. It's, it's not like the last one we tried. It's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to have to post something that comes with a parental advisory. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to use these to attack you there. Yeah, go for it. See if you have a bit better luck, better yes. luck than your boss. My yeah. attack is six. They get it. I have offensive. No, you are offensive. We are in range, you can see. So just in the corner of her eye, caught you cutting up my war boss. I'm hitting you on four, your armour is four. And although you've lost two men, you've still got 12. Yes, because I'm still above half strength. So we have two hits. Ooh. Two wounds. Right, two wounds. I'm hitting you back on fours. And my armour is free. And I get to re-roll when I do it. I'm not strong a bit of the He's rolling good dice. You ain't using them dice anymore, right? Oh, that's not brilliant. Right, uh, no, get rid of that one. And so, hang on. So what's no, your arm? My so, arm is free. Oh. So, this oh. is my strong ability. Come on. Ah, I've hit you once. Ooh. So I actually won combat. You won, yeah. What did I lose? Two. two. You lost two, you lost one. And I lost one. So that takes me on three. I have four wounds each. So yep. one has one wound. Yep. And Nigel is retreating three inches. I will take my courage test now, minus three. Three, two. I go back and batters. <laughs> Just when you just when you think you're winning. Yes. Right. So um, I go back through the chest. Oh. And my courage test minus two. My wizard is moving. Oh, he does move this time. He doesn't fall asleep slip then. So when a leader dies, you only test once for the leader dying. Yeah, you know what? If it's a skeleton, if I was using an undead army, every go, every go, you can either choose to remove a model, is not it? Yeah, or they so like that. A bit more they take a morale test every time, don't they? With a minus one. Uh, archers are moving. Yes, they do. Within six inches, I moved them back that way, and they was good. Yeah, well, you, I moved them that way, so I may get out of range. You moved back three, you was there, I was there. However, if that attack fails, then I'll just hold three inches away from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to attack you. Yes, and I do. Right, let's see. If you are in range. Yeah, because that sometimes that back and battered and losing combat, mm. depending on what way you move it, you could end up out of range, I suppose. Especially with cover, in a way. Yeah, cover's in a way, and that works. Alrighty, so... So is it going to land, Steve? No. <laughs> my elite foot will be hitting you on freeze. Oh. That's minus five models for Nigel, if it's not in the tree. Just quit, just kill the squirrel. And this is the strong ability. Oh, oh God. Just keeps getting worse. That's three, three casualties. Three casualties. So, four wounds. One gets four, he gets removed. One takes two. Uh, we're still on full strength, and I'm four, five, six on half strength now. 
before I was on full, so I'm bending back and forth. Your arm is full. One, two, three, four. You take one wound. One wound. At least I've now got you down to. Oh no, Nigel, I'm battered. I'm only oh, yeah, you're on sixes. On sixes. Oh. Yeah. So I don't do anything. Oh, we know what your sixes have been like today, Steve. So I go back three inches. I oh, know we don't. You're not wrong. Yeah. Go back three inches, you lose a, a model, don't you? While you're battered. Uh, yeah, I take a wound and I take a courage test at minus four, five, six, seven. Seven. So zero. zero. They are removed. So is this where you unleash your previous plan then? So yes, this yes. is. Now, now have you the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> On that note, you call it you one at one. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to prolong it. Drag it out. No. Guys, that's the end of the game. I hope he gave you some kind of idea how Dragon Rampant works. Uh, Steve decided to concede when his flank had completely collapsed, and um, Nigel graciously accepted. Um, we will be doing regular Dragon Rampant games. Um, so subscribe for more, and um, I'll see you on the next one.